stress? Uh, how hum how hungry are you to simply humble him? It's a lower part of me when I'm humble, but it's more about going on Where's this level of maturity coming from? You've seen that you've grown so much in the last three years. Uh, I know it's probably the birth of your daughter. Uh, what is, what's changed with you? You seem so humble and different. Our reps, our lead by her, you know, knocking down the big balls. She has John Kessel uh, giving me Christian ball. All the time. I like I like I'm like I'm like most of the when it comes down to it. I got like uh with us being in LA, a lot is made about Mexican style boxing. Uh and your style is pretty much just about Mexican style. Do you think uh well, I'm talking about coming forward and just banging the guy out. I mean, that seems to be the goal in boxing. You seem to be one of the bravest guys in your division. Talk to us about standing in the pocket and trading the way that you do. Um, it just depends on the opponent. You know, I guess different I, I didn't always bang. You see me with the uh, uh, I didn't bang one of them. I didn't know what he was bringing to the table. Right. Before that, my last fight was that one third. Yeah. Why do you think other fighters have such a hard time selling out venues? I don't know, that's not my job. To tell. What do you think that is, Leonard? Um, because it, it takes time. Uh, becoming an attraction is a process, and, and that's what happens. And I don't want to call names. No, no. These guys, they win titles. And then automatically they think they are much bigger than that they actually are. And, and over time it will tell, you know, we see there's one guy that's out there that's consistently doing it. And it's the guy sitting to my left. He's shown you that whether it be overseas in the UK, whether we go to New York, whether we go to Baltimore, whether we go to Atlanta, or we come out here to LA. He's a client. He's a client. When it comes down to that, is that and that's why you see that these guys, they they can't even they can't even come nowhere close to what he's doing. When you when you actually look at it, you know you you can say because they're just one particular company. You say okay, in, in 2021, your top five fights to this other company, your top five fights. If you can put those ten fights together, and their live gate won't equal what he just did in the last, and that's a fact. Would you respect the guys more if they just said what it was that you are the fighter that brings the most money instead of the scared and the other narratives they try to bring around? Yeah, I think I respect them more because that's real. I, even if you feel like you're a better person, you know what I mean? Just, it just, every time they say something about me, it's negative. You see it. Like, it's, it's basically jealousy. That's all. That's, that's, that's all what it is. It's, all. it's not about me, Adam. It's about jealousy. They, they want to be in my position. You know what I mean? But, I know what it is. That's why I don't really talk about it. Well, the thing, more you, you realize there's the boxing world on Twitter, which is a couple hundred people, and there's the millions of fans that love you and follow you. So that's what, that's what it really is. It's, it's boxing, our uh, media, that, that like, I guess don't like me, then it's just like, other, like outside of boxing, they love me. You know what I mean? That's why I 